Alrighty boys, what is going on? What is going on? Welcome to another Fighter Showcase. Today we're using the Bone Crusher, Mark Jacasey. Mark Jacasey is set to face Joel Alvarez this Saturday, the 22nd. And I uh, figured I'm going to do a Fighter Showcase for him. First fight is against Alexander Volkanovsky. I'm going to tell you guys, man, it's been a while since I did a showcase on Mark Jacasey, but he is someone that I, I definitely use often in this weight class. And the biggest issue you're going to run into when you're using Mark Jacasey is when you're facing someone that's aggressive, right? Um, if you're facing like a Conor McGregor, right? I typically have serious problems if I'm facing a... Oh, my goodness. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. That's not good. That's not good. I typically have issues when I'm facing like a Conor McGregor or a Max Holloway player or like Dustin Poirier and they're being very aggressive and like they're forcing me to box. There we go. Rocked him right there. That's honestly when this guy becomes a problem to use because uh, his with a power of 90. He has a power of 90. And uh, his punch speed is not on the high side of things either. What you're going to realize is that keeping players at bay, right? Keeping them honest becomes really, really difficult because you can't really hurt these guys as often as you would like and as consistently as you would like. There we go. With that. But at the end of the day, the biggest issue you're going to have, biggest issue by far you're going to have with Mark Jacasey is his chin. His chin. He has a uh, he has very low chin stats and that's just the thing with these high rated this low rated characters I should say. Like you got to be so perfect and that's what I'm trying to do right here. I'm trying not to take a lot of shots while also kind of staying true to him a little bit. And my opponent is doing a very good job right now. Like, he's doing some subtle things where he's making me whiff. He's playing footsies very well, and he's making me whiff and then entering the pocket and landing some clean shots. And a, a lot of times, the best way to deal with that is to move forward and stand directly in front of him. But I don't want to do that. Not with Mark Jacasey. I want to fight at the distance that Mark likes to fight, which, of course, is kicking range. But my opponent is playing the shit out of me right now with footsies. Very good first round. I think he uh, he did a very good job in that first round. Now, I rocked him, which I'm pretty sure gave me that, that first round. But he's slowly sneaking in some shots. And we're going to have to figure something out. But yeah, man, when you're using somebody with, with, with low, my bad, bro, using somebody with low health stats or you know, very, very low chin stat, if you get rocked, especially with his recovery, also his recovery stats also being low, when you get rocked, man, you, it's just very difficult for you to recover. So there we go. What I'm saying is use, using Mark J.K.C., man, no. While using Mark Jacasey, you definitely don't want to be getting rocked. No, got him right there. I'm going to get up. To the body. There we go. I'm noticing him, like, of course, entering the pocket with that 
forward moving slip. And I'm trying to land hooks on him as he does that. Trying to see if I can head kick him as well. As he enters the pocket with that. There we go. Oh. Ah. Let me tell you, man, whiffing front kicks in this game is a recipe for disaster. Woo! That was so close. Oh, that was close. If I would have caught him with that, it would have been donezo. There we go. Nice, 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 nice. See, now the problem is freaking... Alexander Volkanovsky's hell stats. I'm rocking this man, but oh no. No. What? Good fight, man. That's what I'm saying, bro. That's what I'm saying. I get rocked once. Once, man. And that's a KO. At least, like, you know, at least. At least let that be a drop, right? Like, just drop me. You don't got to knock him out cold. Damn. Oh, March of Casey, March of Casey. All right. Let's move on. So, Rachmanov MMA we're essentially jumping from the fucking frying pan into the fire man we just fought alexander volkanovsky now we're about to fight somebody way worse hopefully my opponent does not want to do this kind of fight come on bro come on come on i know i always ask you guys to move forward but uh can you like can you give me some space please <laughs> oh my god okay hold on hold on we gotta try to we gotta try to be cleaner with this fight than we were in the last one. Son of a bitch. Well, damn. I'm very glad you did that. Please don't cancel it. Don't cancel it. I want you to be dumb enough. Thank you. Do not cancel it. Yes. Stay right there. Stay right there so you can get me out of here. There we go. <sighs> All right, we're up. We're up. We're up. He's sidestepping. So this dude is definitely forcing me to box right now, which means we have to. We have to. We got a box. And I'm going to try to intercept him with the cross. He is sidestepping. He's doing a very good job of it. But he's not playing footsies as well as the other guy. So I, I kind of know where he's going to be for the most part. And I'm going to try not to make the mistake I made with the other guy where I was whiffing like front kicks and... and Teeps to the body, and he was entering the pocket and countering. There we go. Yeah. Just tagging him, tagging him a little bit. Come on. Come 
Mm-hmm. Oh, shoot. I don't want to exchange with Dustin Poirier. I do not want to exchange with Dustin Poirier. So what I'm trying to do, as you guys will notice, what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to intercept them, yes. But when I notice that an exchange has started, I halt my action and I move away. Because I don't want any sort of prolonged exchanges with Dustin Poirier whatsoever. Dustin Poirier is working with a power of like 95, and I'm working with a power of like 90. I mean, it's... It, 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 when it comes to power, he is significantly more powerful than, than I am, and he's also faster. And he's also... He's more durable. So, I want to intercept him, but that's about it. I do not want to exchange with this man. Like, right there. And I'm not... I'm not prolonging anything. See what I mean? That's what I mean. That's what I mean. That's what happens when you exchange with a more powerful guy, bro. You, you, you end up on the wrong side of things. So hold on. Son of a bitch. EA, man. This, this knee conversion bullshit fucks me over so many freaking times, bro. That was supposed to be a front kick to the head, but it converted into a knee and I got caught. Yes! I needed like a freaking amazing how I needed a super high vulnerability shot just to drop him. <laughs> if that was me, that would have been a KO. If, if that would have been me that threw a freaking wild overhand while already low on short term stamina and got countered with a freaking slip cross, Mark Jacasey would have been knocked out cold. But with Dustin Poirier, you just get knocked down. You live to fight another day. He's rocked. That's the beauty, man. This is... I'm not going to throw it again, bro. I already did it once. I'm not going to throw it again right away. Come on now. Ouch! Get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. No, 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 no. That was a cleaner exchange. He's sidestepping all over the place. There we go. There we go. There we go. I think I'm getting him now. We're getting him in a spot now where his head is really getting toasty. So I think I can start taking more chances with exchanges now. Just because of where his, his head health is. Um... So yeah, yeah. I'm gonna start taking a bit more chances with uh, with exchanges now, because his head health is pretty low, and any shot that I land plus vulnerability is going to be a lot more potent. Like kick. Oh no! I do not want this man to pull a count on me now. That will not be good. I think that's what he's looking for. Hey, I can intercept with a cross as well, sir. Make no mistake. Because that's what you're looking for. I told you. I told you. I told you. Thank you for giving me the idea. Thank you for giving me the idea. Woo! Man. 
Give it to me. Give it, give it. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good times. Good times. Boom. Boom. Roundhouse. Got him out of there. <sighs> All right. So, I think we're going to leave it. We're going to leave it right here. We're going to leave it right here. Show me the hole. There we go. That's the whole thing. We're going to leave it right there. Thank you so much for watching. Mark Jacasey. Uh, next up is going to be Tom Aspinall. Tom Aspinall is fighting as well on Saturday. We're going to get a showcase in for him. Hopefully, we get some good fights as well. But if you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Leave a like on it. And uh, I'll see you guys later with a brand new one. As always, stay safe. Peace out, boys. Have a good one.